large-scale coastal erosion monitoring from SAR imagery over a 25-year time span. Consistent monitoring over time of coastal erosion is essential to understand the evolution of an endangered littoral. Satellite observations have been used for the monitoring of coastlines worldwide and are becoming increasingly useful for advanced studies of erosion, both with optical and radar instruments. A study based on 25 years of satellite imagery has been conducted over 1,000 km of European coastlines in an automatic fashion for the quantification of erosion. Large-scale results demonstrate the use of SAR missions for the study of coastal evolution in the Mediterranean, including validation and compliance with the requirements of coastal management stakeholders. With the final objective of assisting sediment transport from space, the study of topomorphological features with SAR imagery provides a cutting-edge perspective on coastal monitoring. Two processors based on SAR imagery have been developed to extract digital terrain model, water lines, and mathematical profile in an automatic fashion. Turning space-borne SAR data into shoreline tracking requires a sequence of computer vision steps. The SAR backscatter image goes successfully through a denoising operation followed by segmentation to separate land from water pixels by thresholding. The noisy binary mask is then repaired with several computer vision methods of closing and opening. And finally, edges of the mask are softened before vectorizing them into a string line representing the coastline. Each step of this workflow considers different types of methods and parametrizations which have been tested and compared in the area of Start Bay, UK and Barcelona, Spain, to select the best setup. The implementing algorithm is able to process large amount of data in new time, which is capital to handle the long data range and large spatial coverage. Water lines have been computed from all available Sentinel-1 imagery in the Tordera Delta in Spain between 2015 and 2020. As time goes, detected water line gets closer and closer to the land, white to black. This observation advocates for a strong erosion of the coast in this area. By selecting three red, green, blue, cutting plants perpendicular to the coast, we are able to quantify the evolution of the erosion or accretion with a strong impact of the glorious storm which happened in January 2020. The waterline extractor product is fully automated and readily applicable worldwide. Imagery from Sentinel-1 come from two data hub sources, NASA Alaska Satellite Facility and Copernicus Hub. The downloader module automatically downloads the available imagery by area of interest and period of time. Two imagery types have been studied, IWGRGH 10 meters resolution and one image every six days, and SMSLC type 4 meters resolution, but not even one image per year. Pre-processing similar to the coastline processor was applied. Then, wavelengths and direction from SAR imagery are computed by special window extracted from the image. These features are a good proxy to bathymetry for sea floors at a depth of from 15 to 70 meters in shallow waters. Bathymetry maps are given open source by Admiralty in UK at a very high resolution, but rarely updated as they come from surveying. Pre-process of these maps precedes the special matching at uniform resolution with computed wavelengths and direction features. Finally, a dataset is built by Pixel and a machine learning algorithm is trained with the aim of predicting shallow water depth from SAR imagery. Waves can correctly be identified from SAR S1 SMSLC VV polarization, but SAR S1 IWGRGH has been tested and the region is too coarse to correctly identify the waves. The train model gives a root mean square error or MSC of 1.37 meter on the test datasets built, which corresponds to 8% of error of the data range being measured. 
which is considered as a promising proof of concept by stakeholders. We presented an earth observation approach to monitor coastal erosion with computer vision and artificial intelligence methodology. 